All right, welcome back to Menace Armament. Got Menace here. Donnie here is with me. This is episode two. Um, this one's going to be more about where to start. And what we're talking about, like where to start is it can be, we're going to talk a little bit about the training, training resources if you don't um, want to pay the money to go through a trainer. And we'll kind of hit a little bit more on what we're going to be doing here soon on the outside of filming this stuff. Um, and also kind of looking at different guns. I'll show you my first gun I bought myself. Um, my kid's first few guns, actually, probably. Um, he's had a good year. Better year than me on guns. But uh, And just kind of talk about things we've learned over the time of purchasing this or that or looking at this. or Especially since we work in a retail store, we see all kinds of people. People from... Some that own somewhere along the lines of 500 plus firearms and others, many actually lately in the last year, a lot of new buyers that have no idea where to start and they, they walk into a gun store very nervous because of that. Number one, if you're nearby and you do stop by our store, which we'll talk about that a little bit more, please do. Like come in, talk. We're all very friendly. We, we enjoy helping somebody get into this sport. We like uh, talking about guns. <laughs> Pretty much, yes. And then, uh, so yeah, um, let's. Uh, we're going to get started right off the bat with our sponsor, the one that has been helping us out quite a bit, and that, of course, is where we work. Sorry, I'm getting it set up here. Um, and there we go. So let's transition over there. Bishopsgunbarn.com. Um, Bishop Gun Barn is actually here in Pocatello, Idaho, retail location. We get to build lots of custom guns for people, and um, we also just sell any gun you want. If we don't have it in our store, we can order it. Or if you really want way more, you can actually order all kinds of things. We got safety products, apparel, reloading, optics, duty gear, air guns. Um, don't ask me much about air guns. Don't know much in that area. They, they have got, they have changed over the years since I grew up with my little BB gun that I had. So everything, gun amazing. parts, this, this site goes through a lot of our distributors, um, things of that nature. Some of the stuff is actually ours that we have in stock in the store. So if there's anything that you need, stop by the website, check it out. Um, also, I mean, let us know areas of improvement things like that this is a newer website and i think they did a pretty good job overall so far but lots of cool things um, lots of options so yeah please support you know support us a little bit and help us out and you know in the comments or anything like that let them know you found out through menace armament it helps me out too makes her feel that how she has helped me out is actually benefiting her. So, and buy local. <laughs> <laughs> buy local. Unless you don't live in Idaho, buy off Bishop Gun Barn. <laughs> so, all right, back to it here. Um, your first gun. What was your first gun? Uh, my first gun was actually an MMP Shield 9. That was back when they first released, and it was all the craze, and I was a uh, nice. young jarhead. Um, it was a good little pistol. I no longer have it because <laughs> it's rare that you actually end up loving your first gun so much that you keep it. But You hey, said that was a 9mm? Yep, 9mm. Little 8 plus 1, and that's honestly probably the reason I switched it out because more bullets means more bang, so... <laughs> Well, my very first gun I ever received was a 22 long rifle, uh, Mossberg, like bolt action. And, uh, that one actually already went to my oldest son. So my dad got it as his first gun. I got it. And then my kids got it. First gun I ever bought myself was Springfield XD 45 ACP. Um, I'll set it right there for the transition here. I... Still use this. It's the one that sits by my bed. Um, 45 ACP for your very first pistol you've ever owned. Maybe not be, maybe not the smartest. I went that route. I was going through the law enforcement program. 
I've only used rifles up to this point. Um, so I had to learn pretty quick because I had to qualify with this. But it worked good. This gun has had thousands of rounds through it. Uh, and it takes a beating. This was their first gen of the XD, if I remember right. Uh, and then I just put a flashlight laser combo on there that I got at a SHOT Show. Come to find out later, it was actually a pretty nice one that's bright. And um, we've used that to kind of test in a dark room if you get strobed on how it feels. And <laughs> it'll make you sick. So that's really what you want, which we can that get into. Honker, the bulb on there. I think either episode three or episode four, we're going to get into the home defense stuff. I'll bring this gun out back again on why I have that light laser combo on there and how it works. But that was my first gun that I bought myself. So. All right. Back. Back to our lovely faces. Um, probably mistakes for me, I'll say, was the fact that a 45 ACP is not a small round. It's got quite the kick. And when you've never held a gun, it took me a few shots to kind of get comfortable behind it. Luckily, I've already been around guns enough to where even something that had a lot of recoil and you had to hold different, uh, wasn't scared of it. But if it's your very first gun, I don't recommend a 45. Um, that's a lot. And seeing how... If you haven't been raised around guns, now maybe it's been a long time since you shot, then maybe. I mean, it's going to take you a few tries, and you'll, you're you going to look like an idiot probably at first, but that's okay. That's, We've all you got to start somewhere. <laughs> I've made an idiot myself enough times even on this channel, and, the, and I've been doing this for years now. So um, that's probably the biggest thing for me. I mean, even if it's just a little twenty two long rifle... Um, this is my kid's first pistol, Ruger Mark II. Um, this was actually given to him, not by me. I just happened to mention that I wanted uh, to look for a good gun to teach iron sights and to uh, kind of show my son how to shoot a pistol without it being too scary. Muzzle brakes overkill when I received the gun. It was just bare threads, no muzzle protector. I just happened to have a 5.56 five, for an AR muzzle brake. I don't know if it really does a heck of a lot on this gun, but it is a very heavy, easy gun to handle. And for anybody learn, teaching or learning, it's a good way to make sure it doesn't pop out of their hand or go flying or anything like that. Um, yeah, that's my suggestion right there. So, um, don't be afraid to go with the small calibers. And when we get into the self-defense stuff, this brings up a lot of different things. Um, 22 can be used in self-defense just fine. I don't know about you. I don't want to get shot by one. So you be able to shoot 10 rounds and put it in a circle like this, just because there's no recoil, no nothing, no flinching really. I'm going to feel that. I dare you to find the firearm that I'd love to be on the receiving end of. So. <laughs> That's a good point. Um, that goes into 380s are a really good one. Uh, one of my videos, if you look at there, you'll see a Gerson tip-up 380. So let's say you're older. Uh, if you're older and you can't really pull back the slides very well or anything like that, you can still... Uh, tip up the barrel, put the round in there. You can check the chambers clear. It's a more, not, I wouldn't say a full size like that XD I just handed. It's more kind of in between a compact and a full size type thing, but it is got some heft to it. And so recoil is easy to handle. You got like 13 shots, I think in that thing. Yeah. And that's one of my frame. favorite guns that we have in the store in all reality. And it's a 380. and, if I could figure out a way to sneak the money, I'd probably already have one at home. But that was one we should have grabbed from the store. <laughs> we should have actually. Those are a phenomenal little option, especially uh, they've been really popular with the uh, growing female crowd in the shooting department lately. Because, like you said earlier, with that slide issue, that's mm -hmm. that's a phenomenal way to fix it. And I really applaud Gearson for the innovation they put into that little brother 
clone that they do. It's yeah. it's a phenomenal piece of equipment. Gearson has done really good on their clones. Um, they they full fledged went into the Beretta world, and they actually have a nine millimeter, the MC nine, or the Beretta. Um, oh, what's it called? It's a nine oh. millimeter Beretta. I can't remember off the top of my head now, but apparently we've been removed for violating YouTube's community guidelines. That was why. I guess. <clears throat> yep. All right. Well, we're going to keep filming this and I'll just put it on later, I guess. Um, Good old YouTube. That's not what they're telling me. So that's what it says when somebody reads it. Yeah, it's popping up. It says this video has been removed for violating YouTube's community guidelines. And then when I go to learn more, it says the site can't be reached. Huh. Well, I don't know what's going on here. Audio and or video belonging to someone else. Odd. Added your channel to their allowance. Oh. Turn yours off. So I'm we're still recording. So if this does actually pop fully back up again, I apologize for our pause. We are pretty new to all this stuff. Um, trying to figure out what's going on exactly and why it's saying we're not streaming anymore. And yeah. I'm wondering if we need to uh, stop the stream and go back on. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat>